All right, Tupo, we'll start with uh, Cape Town. Your first time here, first time hopefully playing this weekend. What have you made of the reception of the All Blacks this week? It's been pretty sensational, even just outside the hotel before we yeah. saw, I think, security guards taking photos with the likes of DMAC and stuff. What have you made of this, this experience so far? No, Cape Town's been um, uh, real welcoming. Um, We've we seen that at the airport when we landed and um, we see the amount of fans that we have here in this part of South Africa and um, no, we appreciate it and um, yeah, we love our fans, so yeah. It's a bit different to Ellis Park, isn't it? Yeah, it is different to Ellis Park. Um, they've obviously got a new stadium, so it'll be cool to get around there and um, walk around and um, yeah, just see what the stadium's about. But um, yeah, I'm excited to you know, have the day off tomorrow and explore Cape Town. Um, haven't been here, haven't been here, so this is my first time. So I'm sure uh, myself and a few of the other younger boys will get around and um, explore Cape Town. What are you going to do? Like we went up Table Mountain yesterday, so recommend that. But any, anything you've got planned for tomorrow? Yeah, I think we got Table Mountain as well tomorrow, um, and then I think it's the Bay Area, yeah. you know, the waterfront. So I think we'll be exploring that little little part there. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to see what um, this part of South Africa has to offer. Fantastic, mate. And before we get on to this week's game and what's about to come, the, the game last week, what's the review been like after that one? Pretty heartbreaking, I guess, in the end to have that lead and then let it slip away. But what's the review uh, been like since that match? Yeah, I guess it's, um, it was a tough match and I guess the review has just been about how we can finish well and, and how can we impact that last quarter of, um, of footy. But, um, yeah, it's been really honest. Um, yeah, we had a good look at look at ourselves in the mirror, and uh, there's definitely um, some key parts of the game that we need to get better on to be able to get the result this weekend. So yeah. But for you, your rise kind of into the All Blacks this year. You've really laid down a marker physically in the wake of you know Brady Retallick and Sam Whitelock leaving. Do you feel, I guess, comfortable in that starting side now, F feeling like you've uh, yeah laid down a marker in that team as well? Yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, having a few starts under my belt has really built, built my confidence and I guess um, to be able to get 80 minute performances in um, really helped me. So I guess the, the challenge is um, how, how can I back that up um, week in, week out and um, to be honest it's something that I'm still trying to figure out and um, um, something that I'm trying to figure out of um, not, not just myself but my uh, a line coach, which is Jason, obviously uh, my mental skills coach, which is Kerry. So yeah, still uh, trying to find you know that little balance there. So yeah. Well, if we kind of just expand on that just a little bit, when you compare Tupo Vai last year to you this year, what are you doing differently? Do you think now that's kind of really working for you in that starting side? I guess it's, it comes down to my preparation um, during the week, and then obviously. Uh, their mental side of footy as well. Um, as a young fella coming in real quick, it's something that you don't really uh, think about and it's something that's not front of mind. Um, but as the years went on, I you know, slowly learned off the, the older dogs, which is um, Brady Vitalik and Sam Wallock and um, even Scoot as well. Um, just seeing how they prepare their week and um, how they get their mind, mind and body right um, coming into Saturday, so yeah. You mentioned just three really kind of legendary locks within the All Blacks then. Brody, Sam, and Scott Barrett as well. Uh, what's the best bit of advice you've got from any one of those three uh, that's really helping you now? Oh, I guess uh, one thing that's come to mind is um, what Sam said to me when I was younger, my first year in All Blacks. Um, he said, it's, it's good that you've made it now, but it comes down to um, how can you back it up um, every year. And um, one good advice he said was, um, everyone's going to start hunting you now because you're one of the best in the world. And, in New Zealand, so um, you got to keep, you know, fighting to be um, performing uh, your best every week. So yeah, that's what I've been chasing. Yeah. And you mentioned before as well that you're a young fella within this All Blacks team. You know, you're 24, about three weeks younger than me. But you know, when it comes to the second row department in the All Blacks at the moment, you're mm -hmm. the second most experienced lock that's here in South Africa. Mm -hmm. How do you feel having to kind of almost take a leadership position within that squad and a mentor almost to the likes of Sam, Sam Darian and Josh Lord? Yeah, I guess I've, I've had a bit of taste in Super Rugby. Um, you know, I've been throwing their senior lock role early, real early on in, at the Chiefs and I felt like I've um, taken their role with two hands. Um, to, be, to be fair, it didn't, didn't feel natural to me, but um, I knew I had to step up and, uh, you know, be, almost become another voice in the forward pack. And, um, yeah, it's something that I'm, you know, trying to do here, and um, hopefully that I could 
you know, encourage the young fellas or even the older fellas that's been around for a few years. So yeah. And what's it going to take this weekend to to tame the box? Obviously, one hell of a challenge. The Freedom Cup's on the line mm. as well. What's it going to take to get the job done? I guess we just got to perform uh, for 80 plus minutes. Uh, we've seen it last week. Uh, we did it good for you know 60 to 65 minutes, but we need a full 80. And um, yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll work hard this week and uh, hopefully figure it out. Last question, and this is the big one, but why are you walking around with the football jersey if you, if you don't claim to be a football fan? Oh, you know, Adidas is a big sponsor of us, so, um, you know, the boys definitely love a bit of Adi, Adi kit, so uh, if ever we get the chance to purchase, you know, a soccer team that no one no one on the team has, we'll, we'll do it, eh? So, yeah, right, right now I'm a Manchester United fan, so, yeah, David Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.